Hi guys, this is Eva from the Also. I have a message for you guys about praying for those in authority. Now, church, the Lord wants us to all be aware of this truth and to act on it. That is, that he wants us to be a praying church. Not just praying for stuff, but he wants us to intercede for each other as the members of the body of Christ. We're also to prioritize intercession for those in faithful ministry roles and in positions of authority in the marketplace and governmental positions of power and so on. No, this is a very important truth and it's reflected in the word of God. Before going any further, let me clarify, I don't say to prioritize people in positions of leadership or authority or power just to favor them. We know that God is no respecter of persons. That is, we are all important in his eyes. However, the word of God specifically states that we should pray for persons in authority because what they do, the decisions they make, affect the experiences of every one of us, whether we're their peers, superiors, or subordinates. No man is an island, and we're all interdependent. Now, I want to direct you to 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 to 3. King James Version, it reads as follows. I exhort, therefore, that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for our kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. No, it's an unselfish act, but it can be done out of obedience to God. And it can also be done for selfish reasons. That is, so that we will be able to live quiet, peaceable, or peaceful, and drama-free lives. How does this apply? Simple. You can pray for, actually you should pray for, your church leaders. Pray for your boss. Pray for your school principal. Pray for the dean of your faculty if you're at university. Pray for your professors. Pray for your landlord, your landlady. Pray for the president or prime minister of your country. Pray for those representing your town or city or state, like the mayors, the congress persons, senators, and whatnot heads of organizations, and when you really understand these verses, you'll notice that if we're not obedient in praying for these people in authority over us, we have no right to complain if or when they fall short, because we've been negligent and have left them without intercess recovering. It's important that we fulfill the roles that we should, Intercessory prayer is no exception to that.